So you have filled your home with HomeKit accessories and you think you can control all the lights with a shout to Siri? Hey Siri, turn off the lights. And then this happens. Sorry, I don't know what you mean. Hello, I'm Andrew. And today I'm going to show you how to make a HomeKit accessory that takes knocking and turn it into automation commands. Let's get into it. To monitor the surface vibration, I will use a piezoelectric sensor. Piezoelectric sensors can convert changes in force into electrical charges. The sensor pins will then be connected to an ESP12's analog input. When there's a knock, there should be a drastic change in voltage. By measuring the time between each knock, I can recognize specific patterns and send them out as HomeKit triggers. Let me get a prototype working. So here's a prototype of the circuit with the piezoelectric disc connected to the ESP12. I've 3D printed a jig that sticks onto the surface and firmly press on the sensor. I've also added a weight on the sensor so there will be more movement when I knock and give us a better signal. Here's a simple Arduino sketch that samples this analog input and plot it on a serial plotter. When I knock, I can clearly see a spike on the graph. So the next step for me, I'll need to process these raw signals and try to detect a knock. I've added some processing to the signal using a library called Peak Detection. This library processes the sensor data in real time and returns a 1 if a peak is detected. As you can see now, when I knock, it gives me a 1 or negative 1 depending on the spike direction. I then further filtered it so that I get a clean pulse, as you can see in the purple graph. The next step is to include the HomeKit Arduino library. This library is a native HomeKit implementation for Arduino and this doesn't require how to function. So here's the Arduino sketch. It is modified from one of the examples from the library that implements the stateless programmable switch. In the home map, I'm going to add a new accessory. And you can see it is almost acting like an official HomeKit accessory. Here it is. The HomeKit programmable switch has three actions. Single press, double press, and long press. In this case, I've programmed a knocking pattern for each action. For single press, for double press, and for long press. To actually link these triggers to actions, I can set the single press to turn on a light, my desk light on, and then I'll set the long press to turn off my light. All right, let's try it out. And turn it back on. Nice. What I will do next is move the circuit to your prototyping board and design an enclosure for it. So let's cut to that.
Now that I have one working device, I want to make a few more so that I can put it in different places. Maybe one at the console table beside my couch, and one at the shoe cabinet at the front door, and maybe another one at the bedside table. Along with that, I'll design another 3D printed case for it. So let's cut to another montage. So here it is, the finished device. This device is far from perfect, so I'll be making more revisions along the way. So stay tuned for more videos. All the files are available in the description below, including the Arduino Sketch 3D model and the PCB files. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.